Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 9 of the Photoshop tutorial series. So today we're going to look at something called refining edges which is a part of selection tool itself and it is located right here. So let me just import a picture for this. So let me just place uh, embedded right here and I'm going to select the picture that I shot. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rasterize the layer first so that I have easy working for this. So just right click on the layer uh, over here and then rasterize this. So right click and rasterize layer. So right now what I want to do is usually I have my selection. So I drag the selection. Maybe I want to do the union right there. Uh, I want to add to the selection and I have my certain selection. So let's say I just want to have this part of the image. So if I were to go to refine edge, you can see that I can just see that part of the image right there. So I can increase the radius of the uh, selection right there. So I can increase the radius and you can see the effect that you actually get out of it as well. So you can increase the smoothness and that is that increases the smoothness over there. So if you want this sharp or smooth, that is up to you. So you can increase the smoothness just like that. You can increase the feather level. So you make it soft at the edges just like this. Or, and you can also increase the contrast so that it actually seems like a perfect selection. So you can decrease the song, uh, contrast and shift edges is to expand or decrease the uh, edges right there. So this is how you actually use the refine as tool right there. So over here, you can output this to selection to a layer mask or even a new layer. So let me just select new layer over there and press OK. And what it does it, is it creates a copy of this layer. And right now you can see that there is actually this layer right here, but you cannot see it. So it's because like you can hide these layers just like this. So this layer is there and the new layer is actually also there, which is a copy of this layer. So Photoshop does not actually delete the original layer just like that. So you can see that the selection tool actually can be used and the refine as tool actually can be used to uh, create uh, another layer with the selection that you want. So. If you were to hide this, let me just select this layer again and let me go back to refine as right here. So if I were to go to refine as, you can also output this to just selection as well. So if you were to just output this to selection, you can see that the selection output is also there. So what it this actually does is it actually use the refine as features. So let's say if I were to go to feather, let me increase the feather right here and press OK then it actually expands the selection so that feather is applied over there. So in order to create a new layer out of this, I can simply right click and choose layer via cut to actually cut the portion of the image. Let me just press Control Z over there, Control Alt Z to go all the way back. And then uh, I can actually go right click, right click. Uh, I have to be on the selection tool for this, right click and do layer via copy to actually create a copy out of this. So this is another way for you to actually uh, create layers just like that. And in the layer one again, let me just drag this out again. Let me just drag this out. And then in the refine as section, I can also uh, make a new layer mask out of this. So we'll be talking about layer masks in further uh, lessons right there. So this is how you can use refine as inside of selection tool to create multiple version of the layer of the selected portion that you uh, want in the picture. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.